What is up folks? Welcome to a very, very special episode. Today we're kicking off the Catchco on the line competition. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty jacked up today. I'm gonna sit down here a minute, just give you a brief overview of what we're looking at with this challenge. Like I said, this is week one. We got a few weeks out in the future. Hopefully if I keep going, there's judges. And of course you guys are gonna be voting in this competition. There are actually 10 of us competing in this competition. Might I add all worthy opponents and worthy of winning this competition. So basically what we got going on here is we got this box from Cause Bait and Tackle. All 10 competitors should have received them. And and uh, basically we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to catch fish on every single bait in the box. I'm gonna open it up with you guys when we get out on the water. Check this out, they also sent us a cool Guggen scale. I've never used that before. Hopefully we need that today. And then they also sent us a box of terminal tackle. I really, really needed that. I hate buying terminal tackle, so that's that's always nice. We got our boy Zach out here today. He's kind of getting the boat ready while I'm doing an intro, so appreciate him for helping out as always. And also, if you want to vote for me, there's going to be a link right down there in the top of the description. The audience is a huge factor in who's going to win this competition. I need y'all's help. Again, go click that link, help your boy out. Well, of course, we didn't put the plug in. <laughs> Cannot get going this morning. All right, plug secure. All right, y'all, here we go. Week number one, challenge number one. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what is inside. Up first, good old dependable crawl right here. We got the saw crawl. By 10,000 fish, I really think that won't be much of an issue, hopefully. Um, up next, one of my most favorite baits, a rattle bite. Never tried that color before, but I think that'll be just fine. And then y'all know I love spinner baits. I've been catching a ton of fish on them this year. Sorry about the glare if y'all can't see. It's just a Guggen bait zinger. Beautiful color right there. It's the bluegill color. Definitely a lot of those in here. And then we got another 10,000 fish bait, the Shimmer Shad. I've also been catching them on that. That right there looks like that will be perfect on a drop shot, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Last 10,000 fish bait in the box actually is a Headhunter. I have not used this before, but uh, I am really pumped to try that out. Again, just a great little imitator of a bluegill. That should definitely get bit for sure. Bio Spawn Exo Sticks. That looks like an Okeechobee Crawl. Yes, sir, it is. That right there should definitely get bit wacky rigs. Just pretty much any way you want to throw it. That should do the job. And then last but not least, we got a Lumberjack Hard Hat Jigs Flipping Jig right there. That right there will definitely, definitely get us, get us bit for sure. I'm probably going to pair that up with a saw crawl. I'm going to start out probably with some kind of moving bait. I'm eyeballing this swim bait. Right there she is, the little head hunter. Right there's the hook. That right there should just split like the Red Sea. And you just hand out a free whip piercing on one. Hopefully that's going to get bit. We're going to start out throwing that, guys. So we'll put everything back in the box. Oh, how could I forget? Hopefully we get to use this today. Right here, Guggen Squad Scale. Let's see if she works. Oh yeah, like a dream. Let's get rigged up and get to fishing. All right, folks, we've arrived at spot numero uno. I'm gonna start out with the head hunter. This thing is fairly weedless. It has that little fin that comes up and protects the hook. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to get this in some cover and not just get hung up every single time. Oh, cool, there's a knot in the line, perfect. By the way, I'm throwing this on 15 pound fluorocarbon, a go-to Guggen Squad rod, kind of like a medium heavy fast action rod, and a seven to one Corrado. That is the, the gear of choice today. Oh, fish right here. Finally. Yeah, he's decent. Well, it's about time. Hope we don't come off. Yeah, we'll net him just because we ain't had no other bites. <laughs> yeah, for sure. There he comes. Get him there. Yes, sir. Hey, fish number one. Guys, I'm telling you, it's been, it's been tough. There we go. I don't know if it's keep or not. Check out the colors on that fish, though. He's got the black mouth right there, right there. Lipstick. Boy, he's just all blacked up right there. Yeah, that tail's beat up a little bit right there, you can see. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, that took longer than what I would have hoped it would have taken. We have literally thrown everything at them. 
Well, I've thrown what was in the box, but I've rigged it pretty much every way in the world. And Zach back here has just been throwing pretty much everything he's got in his tackle box. Not only what I have in my box, he's been throwing all kinds of different stuff. The bite's been tough and the conditions really haven't been that bad. We've had, for the most part, overcast skies. Sun peaked out a few times, but I think the difference maker is this wind. When the wind picked up a little bit, that's when we caught our fish. So we're gonna keep hitting this bank. There's some riprap up and down this bank and hopefully that's gonna be the key one fish closer to a pattern. Let's see if we can get on some more. So the good and bad news is I'm gonna put the rattle bot down. See if we can catch one on the spinner bait. If we can keep the wind and the clouds going in our favor, we should be good. fish on the jig baby he started running with it yes sir out there right in the thick of this right here i don't know if you guys have seen that we was I'm skipping some of these overhanging banks flipping these trees little dude decided to munch let's let him go these are hard hat jigs round ball shaky heads all right there we go that's going to be what we're throwing with shaky head with an exo stick One. Nope, little one. Little dude. Well, hopefully we can catch some better than that. Not the size we're looking for, but that is a fish on the shaky head, but I'm gonna keep throwing it just for a second. See if I can pick off another one. Yeah, so that technically, all that we have left is the zinger and the shimmer shad. I believe that's it. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's it. No, and the headhunter. The headhunter. I forgot about the headhunter. Well, guys, if you remember how I was telling you about me having a lot of boat trouble in the beginning, yeah, well, let's come back to visit us here. So we made it back a little bit closer to the ramp, and we're just going to finish it out by beating this bank all the way back to the dock. Fish? Good? No. Fish on the zinger. There we go. But well, we're not catching any size, but I'll tell you what, we're knocking out some baits. So now we got to throw is the shimmer shad and the head hunter. Honestly, don't want to put this down though. <laughs> well, y'all, we have come to the conclusion there's something wrong with the engine getting fuel. There's something going on. We further assess the situation come to the conclusion that we just have no idea how or why. So it's gonna be going into the shop. We're gonna to have to try to get it fixed if possible. So we'll probably go to a pond, lake, creek, or something and try to knock out those last two baits. Headhunter, Shimmer Shad. I think that's the only two that we have left. Very possible to do. I think we can get it done. Y'all stay tuned. I'll catch you guys at some other time, some other place, hopefully under better circumstances. Stay tuned. We're headed out to a private pond. It's actually a little bit of a hike out here, but it's got some pretty decent fish in there and hopefully we can get on one. We got the drop shot, shimmer shad, and the 10,000 fish headhunter on here. Those are the only two baits we got left in this challenge. So we're gonna go out here, try to knock them out, and hopefully catch a better quality fish. Got the Guggen scale in the backpack as well. Hopefully we get to try that out for the first time. Let's get it. We have arrived at pond number one. This isn't the pond that has the bigger fish in it. That pond's actually way over there, but we're gonna go ahead and start out right here. I'm gonna throw that shimmer shad real quick and just see if I can get bit on it. Hopefully upgrade on the fish we catch on it up there. But let's just try to get on the board real quick and uh, pretty sure we can catch a fish here pretty easy. All right, here we go. We just got a little drop shot hook on there with that little bitty shimmer shad. A little tungsten weight given to us in the Paul's bait and tackle box. Just gonna throw right over here in the shade. Should be one hanging out right there. Well, there's one. He is not big, I can already tell you that much. He actually ate it while he was swimming. While we were swimming it. Oh no, what is this? Oh no, it's not even a bass. It's a catfish. Well, that's just fantastic. Little catfish, I don't even know what is that a, 
I don't even know what kind of catfish that is. Bullhead or something like that. I don't know. What kind of catfish is this? Y'all let me know. But we're going to turn him loose real quick. A little surprise catch right there. Whew. All right, here we go, folks. I'm going to throw the little head hunter now. See if we can get bit on it. Should be able to. I feel good about it. Oh, I got a hit right there. Oh, he's got it. He's still got it. Got one. That didn't take long. He's not big. It's definitely not the size of fish that's in here. So, there we go. He ate it good. He ate it good. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Headhunter demolished. There we go, guys. Headhunter down. That's all baits now that we've caught fish on. But I definitely think we can upgrade from that. Oh, I threw it right on top of one. He's got it. My drag's not set. I did not get a good hook set on him. He's coming right at me. Oh, better one. Better one for sure. Better one for sure. I don't know how big this one is. Four pounder. Don't come off, baby. Don't come off. <laughs> we need this one, boys. He's got it right in the corner, too. Oh, boat flip. Oh, my rod just broke. Oh, shoot four pounder just broke the rod uh, if you're gonna break it break it like that though there we go guys there we go solid four right there good fish good fish that's what we needed right there guys check that out right there it's a nice fish we're gonna get a weight on him real quick see what he is i'm gonna guess four pounds he is 3.54 so he looked a little bit bigger to me than what i thought he was so nice three four boys check that out right there can't really get down there to let him go real good but he's off he's off so uh i just completely destroyed a rod yeah i probably reeled him up a little bit too close i sticked it a little bit i broke like five rods in the last month so it is what it is i'm gonna throw the shimmer shad really quick see if i can catch a little bit better quality on that or even catch a bass so yeah we're gonna throw that see if we can catch one more fish There's one. Oh, no. Boys, we're multi species today. Bluegill again. Is that a bass? Oh, that's a bass there. It's not a big one. We'll take it, though. We'll take it. Don't need to break another rod. There we go. I knew a shimmer shad drop shot would be super easy. I'm gonna get back to the car and uh, we'll officially end the video. Guys, I've had a blast filming this first on the line challenge video. And like I said, if you want to go help me out, if you wanna go help support me, vote for me. I got a link right down there in the top description. Go check it out. But also, just because you're voting for me doesn't mean that you shouldn't check out all the other contestants' channels and their videos. Uh, just a great group of content creators, guys. Again, I can't stress to you enough. Go check those guys out, but I would also appreciate your vote down there in the top of the link. Go click that. Go help your boy out. I need a new boat, guys. I really do. Also, keep a lookout for the next On The Line Challenge videos. If I keep advancing, then they're going to keep coming, and I'll also be needing your support in the future. But if it is your first time checking out my channel, I would appreciate it if you would go ahead and reach down there and hit that subscribe button. Be a part of what this channel is becoming in the future, guys. We're growing. We're just having a blast doing it, and I would love for you guys to be a part of the Fishing With Take community. Guys, as always, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing, and I'll see you next time on another episode of Fish One Tape.